Uh, undersea warfare is a big thing, uh, and it's uh, not just subs. Subs are really important. But it's the aircraft. The upper right is the P-8. She's come aboard. She's going to deploy in a, with a squadron this year, later this year. And she is meeting and exceeding all specs for anti-submarine warfare, networking, time on station, delivery of dependability, very cool. The upper left is an autonomous underwater vehicle, goes and finds things. Uh, then it will come up and say, hey, this is, here's my download, what things that I found. And you can use that for countermine, and we want to expand it for ASW, and I want to get to a bigger and bigger, uh, if you will, uh, radius, if you will, diameter, large diameter vehicle. And in your imagination, you can tell you what I do with that. The lower left are subs, and it's increasing the number of tubes. And uh, what we're going is, what you see here is your standard sort of Los Angeles class uh, submarine that has 12 Tomahawk tubes. We're going to one big Trident tube, which is 15 feet across, uh, and then you kind of put a rotary launcher in there, or you can put special forces stuff in there, or you can put an unmanned uh, autonomous vehicle, or, you know, we'll figure that out. But the idea is you get that in there. And in the lower right is something people don't give a lot of attention to. That's just a good old catamaran out there moseying around the, the ocean with a long, 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 long towed array. Very sensitive, finding all kinds of stuff under the water. It's called queuing. And we kind of say queuing, yeah, and say, <laughs> you ain't got queuing. You ain't got a contact. You can't get started. And all those other things are neat, but not quite irrelevant, but you got to have queuing. 